For too long in this country, black and brown people specifically, who represent 80% of the people that come from incarceration, their value in the labor force has been based on their physicality. and haven't been valued appropriately when it comes to their intellectual capacity. I used to be a policy director at Legal Services for Prisoners with Children and did a lot of work around Ban the Box or the Fair Chance Act. Uh, and I would spend a lot of time talking to HR and talent people and uh, C-suite people about how we could uh, usher people into the tech sector, uh, formerly incarcerated people. And oftentimes, tech HR executives would talk to me about baseline skill sets, and they would be interested in developing programs to onboard people, but they were concerned about the skill level that existed with the prison population. Um, that kind of gave us an idea about creating a boot camp, if you will, that really was meant to train people in the tech sector in various different tracks like UX design, project management, et cetera. Another thing that we really decided to focus on is how do we create a holistic and human-centered model and really take some of those initial economic stressors away from people who serve long periods of incarceration. Tech specifically, who has been part of the greatest redistribution of wealth and accumulation of wealth in, in the world history, right, has a responsibility uh, to the communities that they serve, to provide opportunity for all sectors and all people. Uh, uh, we think that Again, diversity, inclusion is a very necessary thing for tech. And so why not tech? They have heavy resources. Uh, that's where most of the opportunity for economic mobility exists. We think that everyone should have access to that.